everybody to the finest women in real estate TV show. I'm your host, Rick Amato. No, I'm not a woman, but I'm proud to be a part of this show. This is our inaugural show that I've been blessed and honored enough to guest host. Uh, again, finest woman in real estate. This is the show where you, where you will find about key relationships and key issues for those of you in the real estate industry and those of you interested in the real estate industry. But it's not just about money and loans and, and, uh, and, and real estate. You're going to hear about fashion and beauty, industry trends, and self-improvement. Now, today, this being our first show, we're going to meet some of the key players. We'll find out who the CEO and the founder of Finest Women in Real Estate is. And there will be different hosts each week, a weekly 30-minute show. And we're going to meet today some of the upcoming TV hosts. So let's get started. To my right here in studio is the beautiful Marie Waite. Marie is the CEO, the founder of a company called Finest Women in Real Estate. Marie, good to see you. Yes, thank you, Greg. So Marie, uh, tell our viewers, you know, what exactly is this company, Finest Women in Real Estate? Well, it is a marketing company to help promote the real estate professionals. I've been in the real estate industry myself. I am a licensed agent, and I realize the uh, kind of hard work and challenges that they face Absolutely. in this new business. So um, I decided I want to help. All right. And what better way to do it than launch a national television show? Exactly. Right now, Roku, Amazon Fire TV, and another announcement coming up. We'll, we'll keep our audience waiting on that one. All right, let's uh, meet our upcoming hosts who are in, in studio with us. Uh, to your right is uh, Steve Matley. Steve, good to see you. Good to see you too, Rick. I'm glad S to be here. Steve, you are the uh, president of Coast to Coast Equities. That's correct. You're going to be uh, hosting an upcoming episode of Finest Women in Real Estate. Uh, what, what should we know about Steve? What should we know about, what should we know about the, the show that you'll be hosting? Well, I'm really happy to be hosting this show. I've been working with Marie on her business since the inception of it. Uh, we've kind of worked together on that. And a lot of the discussion has been what makes, how does someone become the finest? We've had the people ask the question, what does that mean, the finest? I look at it as the definition of fine that comes from the original word, which means complete. It's, it's all encompassing. If you watch an Italian movie, it says fine at the end, right? right. Same with the French movies. Finish. Finish. It means done. It's finished. <laughs> and I, I like to think of, this is highlighting the women in real estate and the resources that help them to be successful as being uh, complete, well-rounded. As you mentioned, it's not just about real estate. It's not just about money. It's about a complete, balanced lifestyle working around and within the real estate and industry. Steve, it's Steve, interesting about your background helping uh, Marie create this company. You're the president of Coast to Coast Equities. Yes. You should tell us what that is. That is a C corporation of myself and two longtime partners and friends that I've had we do land acquisition, entitlement processing, and development projects, mostly through syndications involving outside investors that come into our projects. It sounds like you might know a thing or two about real estate. I've been around the block a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Also in studio with us, a future host upcoming in the next few weeks of Finest Women Real Estate is the equally beautiful uh, Lindell Whirling. Lindell, you're a personal stylist. Indeed. Thank you for having us. I'm excited to be here. Terrific. And uh, Lindell, tell us about yourself and what our viewers across America might uh, expect to see when you host your episode. Absolutely. The show that we'll have that pertains to health, beauty, and lifestyle is going to be for everybody. As Steve mentioned, it's not just about real estate and it's certainly not just about women. We'll talk a lot about the topics that can help people to be more successful professionally. And again, they pertain to branding your personal style, perhaps presenting a prestigious image so that you can succeed. And we'll certainly touch on things to help elevate women in the real estate profession. And Lindell, what some of our viewers may be surprised to hear when you're not a personal stylist helping the real estate industry, you're writing about the NFL. They will be surprised to hear that. <laughs> and it is a passion of mine, one that I think we kind of share. That's right. How about them Steelers? That's right. All right, and in studio with us, also upcoming uh, host, again, for, for Finest Women in Real Estate, is life coach Jeff Kroom. Jeff, good to see you. Thank you, Rick. It's good to be here. So uh, tell us, when you say life coach, well, I'm going to ask you in a moment about your upcoming episodes, sure. uh, but give us an idea of some of the things that you do with clients in terms of uh, being a life coach. 
Sure. Well, you know, Rick, I've been in business for 20, 25 years myself, multiple different businesses, and kind of looked at all different facets of business. And what I've discovered is it's not just about building the business, it's about building the person. So if I become a better person or an optimal person or the finest person I can be, I'm going to see that trickle down in my business, in my family, et cetera. So my focus is really on helping build that person from the inside out. I've always said that success is an inside out job. Interesting. Um, now, what, will you be bringing that to your to your episodes? What, 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 what should our viewers expect when sure, Jeff? Sure, Jeff, we're yeah, going to we're going to be looking at some of the concrete things: operations, how to run the business, some of the day to day routine. What do I put on? How do I do the transactions? But we're also going to be looking at that man in the mirror, that woman in the mirror. Most of all, it's not what we put on on the outside; it's what we put on on the inside that makes us confident. And we're going to take that confidence, we're going to boost the confidence of our viewers, we're going to boost the confidence of the audience, that belief in themselves is going to skyrocket. They're going to, they're, Rick, they're going to believe that they are the finest, because when we believe that we're the finest, we're going to be able to do the finest. So that's what we're going to expect to see in these upcoming episodes. Very, very uh, interesting. Now, Lindell, we, we have Jeff who's working on the inside, you work on the outside. The outside's important as well. It is. Um, what, are, what are some of the things you see people, uh, how does it change their performance by creating the right image for, for layman's terms? It's about instilling confidence in whoever your clientele is and the people that you're meeting with. And it's also about respect for those people. So when you put on an outfit and you are in a tire that says, I respect you and your time, it's more likely to lead to success. And it's something we should do every day. Yeah, it's interesting. Wouldn't you agree, Marie, that uh, we, we are in a, in a, I don't know if it's a society or just human nature, where we make judgment based upon uh, the physical appearance. Yes, and I totally believe that. That's why I brought Lindell here, because I know it creates an impact in your business. People look at you in a certain way, and you can't please everyone. And you know, I, I, I'm not in real estate, but as an outsider, I notice that people in real estate tend to dress very well, tend to drive the nicest of cars. Uh, I don't think that's by accident. I'll go to the personal stylist on that. Yeah. I'm also a real estate broker in California okay. and in Utah. So I've experienced that in meeting with peers and meeting with clients. It's very important. These are large transactions that have an emotional attachment perhaps the largest investment people will ever make. So it's very important to have those you're associated with look as if they're credible, trustworthy, and competent. Uh, interesting. Yeah, I, 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 think that, uh, I think that's important in any aspect of business, and you tend to see that in, in real estate, which is interesting to me. Um, Steve Matley, uh, what... Uh, what what was the key points? As you said, you helped Marie create Finest Women in Real Estate. You wanted, you wanted to create a, 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 a finality, so to speak, if, if I have that right. What are some of the key points that went into that in your mind? Because to me, they probably go into other businesses as well. Yes, well, the, the biggest point is looking at it from the big picture, looking at that 30,000-foot elevation instead of getting lost in little minutia. We figured, what are all the parts and pieces of this puzzle that have to get fit. A lot of people get stuck with one puzzle piece. And we figured there's, a, there's an entire package that has to come together. So Marie and I worked on forming your company. I helped her form the LLC, get the trademark. As well, we then published a magazine, Finest Women in Real Estate. Then we published a book, uh, Seven Essential Principles of the Finest Women in Real Estate. Um, then we did a reality show pilot on the finest women in real estate. Yeah. And it is, then we started the Fire Up Connect networking groups that are part of finest women in real estate. And it is a multifaceted uh, system to help promote people in the real estate business, which was Marie's mission. All right, very interesting. All right, so we have the founder, CEO of Finest Women in Real Estate. We have Steve Matley, Lindell Whirling, Jeff Kroom. Each of you will be hosting upcoming episodes wanted our viewers across America to meet you and get your a feel for your personality and, and your goals. Thank you for joining us in the first segment of our first show. Thank you for having us. When we come back, we'll meet uh, some people that our viewers are going to be very, uh, very interested to meet and, and uh, get some key information as it relates to real estate. I'm Rick Amato. This is our inaugural show of Finest Women in Real Estate. Stay with us. We're back after this.
right, welcome back to The Finest Women in Real Estate. I'm your host, Rick Amato. This is our inaugural show. Again, this is the show where we talk about the key issues, the key relationships for those of you in the real estate industry or interested in the real estate industry. We talk about beauty, fashion, health, as well as self-improvement and the key trends. It's not all only about the money and the homes. It's about everything in life, how it applies to real estate. All right, let's meet three very special guests. Jo uh, joining me in the studio right now is uh, Pauline Wolke. And uh, t Pauline is the is a real estate agent with United One Realty. Correct. Good to see you. We'll come back to you in a second. Also in studio is Lale Hanks. Lale is, with, uh, is a mortgage loan officer, I want to get this right, with America's Choice Mortgage Benefits. Correct. All right. And to the right of Lale is Michelle. Some call her Lyman, but don't. I call her Lamone. That's right, you got it. Uh, Mich job. Michelle Lamone, and uh, Michelle is a mortgage loan officer with CMG Financial. Correct. All three of you here in Southern California. Let's start with you, uh, Pauline. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your background, and we'll, it, it, we'll start there. Okay, well, um, I own uh, my company, United One Realty, so we have about nine agents. Wow. Yes, I love it. It's very fulfilling to help um, other people succeed and do what they love to do. And I've uh, had my real estate license since 2004, so I've been in the business for a while. Um, and yeah, it's been, it's been great, so. What, what do you think sets you apart from <laughs> most uh, other agents in, in real estate? Well, I think uh, one is I really care about my clients and I care uh, what, what their needs are. So when it comes to a home or, um, you know, what, what, what they need. So I, I, I truly care about their well-being and, and making that happen. Also, um, I'm not a frantic or get, uh, uh, you know, make the transaction crazy. You know, I want everything to go smooth, simple. So I have, you know, great guidelines to, to making sure that happens and, and also educating buyers and sellers on, you know, the transaction. Great. And of course, this is the Finest Women in Real Estate show. That app also happens to be a, a company which, which you're a member of. Why, why, uh, why did you join Finest Women in Real Estate? Well, I joined because uh, I met Marie. Who's, and the, who's the founder. Who's the founder. And I find her um, to be uh, very educated and really helping out our community. And I wanted to change. And one of the things I wanted to do was start helping the community out as much as possible. And uh, when I met Marie, uh, she had this great platform uh, with Finest Women of Real Estate and being able to network with other people and um, being educated and, and hopefully help other people. Terrific. All right. Now let's let's meet Lele Hanks. Hi. Who? How are you doing? You're a mortgage loan officer with America's Choice Mortgage Benefits. Yes. Tell us about your background. Well, I've been mortgage lending since uh, just after September 11th, 2001. Wow. I used to be in an employee benefit field and outside sales, and uh, that industry just got yanked out from underneath me. And I was recruited into mortgages. I um, I just haven't looked back. It's been a really great ride. One of the things that I've noticed most people are lacking is the basic knowledge and education that we need to know about mortgages and real estate, diversifying your investments, you know, what creates a credit score. So that's what I do is I help educate people so that they make good, strong decisions. They get great options. And if they don't qualify now, we plan. We, you know, make a plan for the future because if you fail to plan, then you plan to fail. So. And what about, uh, same question we asked uh, Pauline, what about uh, why, why did you join? Uh, well, estate. lots of reasons. Marie has great passion. Um, I believe in working out of, you know, passion in your heart. And uh, so I noticed that out of her. Um, as a woman in business and in real estate, um, there are some challenges with that. And so I want to empower other women. Um, there are a lot of clients that I have that come to me after maybe a divorce or some type of change where they have to go back into the, uh, the career or work field, um, workforce once again. And I just want to empower women to let them know that there's so many options, whether it be in real estate, mortgage, finance, um, you know, there's so many options to get back out there. And I just want to help people uh, step away from that fear and empower other women to do, that do well. That sounds like a great, a great mission. Yeah, I think so. All right, and next to you is uh, Michelle Lamont. And uh, Michelle, of course, you're a mortgage loan officer with CMG Financial. Same yeah. question we asked uh, our, our, our other two guests. Uh, tell us about your background. Well, I have been a loan officer for the past 23 years. 
I started when I was two. <laughs> <laughs> <Right. laughs> Just kidding. Um, I stumbled into this industry by accident. It wasn't something that I intended to do. How so? Well, I went to school to be a psychologist. I really wanted education and is, is my background, so I wanted to be a psychologist in the school district and help children from the ages of zero to 13 and have the families come together and understand what kids were going through. And uh, during going to college, I stumbled into uh, banking and mortgage by accident and um, it kind of took off from there. So. Anything from your, your background and uh, educational psychology that applies to what you do? Every day. Every day. We deal with people every day. Empathy, sympathy, um, understanding different cultures, different backgrounds, m men and women, all. So we deal with it all the time. And um, fattest woman in real estate, what, what made you decide it was a good fit for you? Well, it was, uh, I, I met with Marie, and um, just like these ladies, it came together, and I saw her vision. And um, being a woman in real estate for 23 years, I've had my challenges personally being taken seriously. Um, it's a, it's a male dominating industry. It is. I didn't realize that. It, it, it very much is. And if you look behind a lot of the male dominating teams, there's a lot of women running those teams. And women are used to taking second position, right? We're used to standing behind and running things, but we're great multitaskers. We know how to do a lot of things. We know how to deal with a lot of people, and we do things all at once. So it's time for us to come out of those shadows and stand in the front. So I am following that vision of helping uh, women be taken a bit more seriously in, in this industry. Terrific. And that, that, that takes me back to Lale. Uh You were saying that one of your missions is to empower women. And after hearing the, the comments by Michelle, uh, what are some of the things that you see out there that those in the real estate industry or maybe clients mm -hmm. should be doing, can be doing, either as a professional or as a consumer in the industry to empower themselves? Well, I think lining ourselves up with local professionals that have a sphere of influence um, within other areas. So, for example, when somebody comes to me and they need a mortgage, well, we take a look at tax returns. And if they have a really good CPA, you know, it's kind of a double-edged sword. So really surrounding yourself by good professionals that are communicating with one another. And so that's why I believe, like, the benefits company where I pull together and power individuals to create that knowledge and education piece, uh, especially looking back at most of us in real estate, we've been here long enough to have lived through the market crash. We had that in, you know, 2000. 2007, 2009 timeframe. And if you look back at what's changed, you know, the education piece ha hasn't. People are not more educated than they were. And I really think that's an important piece. It's just that education. Reaching out and getting the knowledge before you're in a situation where, you know, it's the roof over your head because it's such an emotional purchase when you buy real estate. You're in that home and, and you can really be taken advantage of because you see your family living there. And if you're not pre-educated with knowledge, organized, then you could easily fall into the wrong hands. And nobody wants to go through, you know, financial duress, distress or anything like right. that because it does result in, unfortunately, divorces and, you know, uh, health issues. And so just staying ahead of that, you know, knowledge curve and being more prepared rather than, you know, learning on the fly. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Uh, so be a little proactive in your education and in so. your knowledge. Yeah. Uh, Pauline, um, how about yourself? Do you see yourself empowering women or, or men and women or... Absolutely, yeah. I think um, I, I'm, I'm a mother of three, so I, I get a lot of, uh, you know, multitasking is what we do. So um, I, I get people who's like, wow, if you can do it, if I can do it, you can do it. And it's, um, it's in, it, when it comes to women in real estate, um, it's, I want them to feel self-confident. I want them to believe in themselves. And so you're, you can be a role model. Well, I, well. Try to, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to embarrass you. But, but that's, that's, no, no. All right. So, but it's also changing other people's outlook on real estate professionals because we do kind of get a bad rap. They kind of think of us as car salesmen and we're just making all this money, which we're not. And it's um, also educating, you know. When you work really hard and give up your nights and weekends. So, right, I know. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Pauline Welke, Lale Hanks, and Michelle Lamone, I thank you for joining us on our first uh, episode. The Thank finest women. Thanks me. for having us. Thank you. All right. I'm Rick Amato. This is Finest Women in Real Estate. No, I'm not a woman, but I'm surrounded by the finest women in real estate. We're back after this. All right. Welcome back.
back to Finest Women in Real Estate, our very first episode. I'm Rick Amato, and we continue with our panel. Our panel being Michelle Lamone, Lale Hanks, and Pauline Wilkie. Uh, ladies, I'd like to switch gears here and talk about goals. And we'll start with you, Michelle. Uh, goals in terms of, you know, you're, you're on the TV show, Finest Women in Real Estate. You're going to be on it again in the future. What are some of your goals that you see for yourself uh, working with this show? Uh, one of my goals that I really want to see uh, is a mindset shift amongst the consumer that is purchasing real estate. There is a statistic out there that 90% of millionaires have been made through real estate. Mm. And I think people often forget that this is an investment. And right. they need to understand the investment side of purchasing real estate and not that we're just buying a house like, it's, like we're buying a car. So when they understand that and they can utilize it correctly and build wealth upon that, build a retirement, build a, a nest egg, um, and understand the mortgage where they are um, investing. So that's my so, goal. So do you see people having a, a hard time realizing when the market goes up and down, maybe they should can right. sit it out? And yep. There's, there's the whole finance piece behind purchasing a home is just absolutely missed by the majority of the consumer out there of how to use it, what it means, which is an onset to the mortgage meltdown 10 years ago. That's why that happened. Right, okay. Uh, Lale Hanks, yes. what, what are your goals as it relates to the TV show, Finest Women in Real Estate? Yeah. My biggest goal is to get our benefits company out there and available, accessible. Um, you know, we offer our education free for veterans and first responders. Wow. Um, but mostly just that education because re really nothing has changed in that area. And if you think about employee benefits at a corporate level, it costs your, you know, the employer a lot of money and it costs the employee a lot of money to have medical and dental. But what about why we go to work every day? We go to work every day to build our American dream. And that's a little different for everybody, but I want to make sure that people have the tools, the planning, the education to get there without having to learn the hard way. And you've said education is important to you too. Yeah. Anything you'd like to add to that? Well, by having different types of workshops to uh, bring education to the consumer level, um, I'm on the board for uh, VA Rep, which is the Veterans Administration of Real Estate Professionals. So it's a lot of uh, being a, a person of influence using this platform to build trust okay. and, um, and bring that knowledge to them. It's, it's hard to find that on the internet because there's so many mixed messages and wrong information out there. Well, the great thing about the internet is you get a lot of information, but you don't get wisdom. Correct. Uh, yeah. uh, Pauline Welke of United One Realty, you own the company. What's your goal? My goal is to help educate buyers and sellers of, you know, the process and, and things that can they can utilize and, and ease their, their, you know, it's scary to sell your house or buy a home and, and so forth. But I think if you know the process and you're educated, it, it makes things so much better for them and all right that's michael three very very special answers from three apparently very special ladies <laughs> that's our first show i want to thank each of you for joining us thank you thank you it. and i want to thank our audience for joining us remember we're here every week uh finest women in real estate roku amazon fire and a special announcement so of some other uh just i gotta keep it to myself right now but you'll find out where else you can find us uh, again, I want to thank Michelle Lamone, I want to thank Lele Hanks and Pauline Welke for joining us. Thank you. All right, that's our show, everybody. And uh, have, as I say, thanks for joining us. Have a good night, everybody. Okay.